evening, today we will make a YouTube end screen, to use at the end of your video, to locate your audience. We will make it together step by step. Let's start, first of all here I have the dimensions you need to make, the end screen, so that you look beautiful. In the black part we'll enter all the files, we will use video, text, lower thids or whatever you put. The dimensions for videos must be these, according to the terms of YouTube. We will do with two videos, if you want you can do with four videos. Let's start. We make a new composition. We give a name. Full HD dimensions and 5 seconds. And we click OK. We make a new composition, we call it background. And we click OK. We went to the background composition, and we create a new solid, we give a name. We press make comp size, we choose dark gray color. And we press OK. We go to the main composition, and put the background, and we lock it. Then we go to the ascent, and we enter the guide, I will give it to you in the description, and we lock it. We go and enable the rules, we put around the guide, and where will we put our objects. Go and select the rectangle, change the color to black, and turn off the stroke. We make a rectangle. We press enter, and we give a name. We go to the settings, and we change its dimensions. And we bring it exactly where the guide. We press Ctrl D. and then P, to display the position, and we go on the other side again where the guide. We make the two rectangles pre-comp. Now go and select the pen tool. Go to stroke, and set the size 4. And turn off the fill. Zoom in. And put a point at the bottom of the first video, and by pressing shift we put the second point, then bring it there where we want to go. Press enter, and give a name. Go to easy tools, and bring the anchor point to the middle, press S to display the scale, and we do it 110. Press Ctrl D and, press it under the secondary video. Perfect. Now we need to put titles, under the two videos, and select the text tool, in the first video we write previous video. And we change the color to white. We go to the charter panel, and we change from bold to regular. And we put it there where we want. We press enter, and we give a name. We press Ctrl D, and by pressing Shift, we press it under the second video. We double click, and we change the name, from previous video to recommended video. Maybe we reduce it a little. And we put it exactly in the middle, of the second video. 
Go again, and select the text tool, and type the main titles. Double click and enlarge it a bit, go to the character panel, and change from regular to bold. Go to the align panel, and bring it exactly to the middle composition. Press enter, and give a name. We press Ctrl D, and download it from below. We go to the character panel and change from bold to regular, and we write the second title. With double click we select it and reduce it a little. We go to the align panel and we bring it exactly in the middle of the composition. On one side of the second title. We change the color to red. And make it bold. Perfect. Now we have to do masks, in each title separately. This will help us a lot when we do the animation. Select the rectangle tools, and add whatever color you want to the fill, and turn off the stroke. We go to the first title, and we make a rectangle, we press enter and we give a name. And we go just above the first title. We go to the first title, and on the track mat we change it to alpha mat, and we lock it. I'll do it a little bit fast so we don't waste time. Now we need to make the lower thirds. We make a new composition, and we call it Facebook. We change the dimensions, to 500 by 100 and we press OK. Select the ellipse tool, and change the color to light blue. and make a circle. Press enter, and give a name. Go to the align panel, and bring it exactly to the middle, go to the assets and open the folder with the logos, select the Facebook logo, and put it in the composition. By pressing the shift we reduce it, and we put it on top of the ellipse, maybe we reduce it a little more, the logo is selected. We put a drop shadow to make it more beautiful. Select the logo, go to parent, and draw it in shape, so that they can be shared together. Now we write a title. Double click. And font Nexa. and change the color to white to doing to grow a little press enter and change the name we go to the align panel and exactly brings middle create a mask in the title as before Now we need to do the animation, go to easy tools, and go 15 frames forward. Press S, and press shift the R, and put keyframes, go to the beginning, and scale we do 0, and rotation 1. We select all keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9. Let's go but 15 frames in front, with the shift pressed we press P to display the position, and we put a keyframes, we go 15 frames back, and we bring it exactly to the middle of the composition. Select all the keyframes, and press F9. Go to the title, press P to display position. Go 15 frames in front, and put keyframe. Go 15 frames behind, and move it to the left until it is visible. Select all the keyframes, and press F9. 
close everything and in all layers activate the motion blur press the space to make a ram preview we choose everything we press you so that the keyframes and keyframe appear from the titles they go a little to the left we will do the same in all the lower thirds We went to the project panel we select Facebook and we go edit and duplicate and we give a name. I will do it a little faster. Now go to the main composition to do the animation. Select the two lines, and go to the easy tools, and the anchor point go to the left, go 15 frames in front, press S, and put keyframes, go to the beginning, and scale we do it 0. Select all the keyframes, and press F9. We go to 7 frames. We select the two videos, we press T, for the opacity to appear, and we do it zero. We go ahead, and we do it 100%, select all the keyframes, and press F9. Maybe we change the keyframes, from the videos to be more nice. We choose text 1 and text 2. We press P we go 15 frames in front, and we put keyframes. 15 frames back, and we put them up. Select all the keyframes, and press F9. Select the other two titles press P. Go 15 frames front. and put keyframes, 15 frames back, one title up, and the other down. Select all the keyframes, and press F9. Maybe move them a little to the left. Press the space to make a RAM preview. Select them all press U, to close. Now we need to enter the lower thirds, go to the project panel, select them, and drag them to the composition. Select everything and go to the right. Press S to display the scale, and do it 70%. And we put them under the videos. We close them all. We choose one by one, and we put some frame in front, to make a beautiful animation. We go to the assets, and we select the arrow, and we put it in the composition. We press S to display its scale, and we shrink it a bit. We cut it where we want, we press Alt, and square brackets the left, we press D to display the opacity, and we put keyframe, and we do 0, we press 15 frames in front, and we put another keyframe, we go to 7 frames and we do it 100%.
Alt and click, go to Properties, and select Loop Out. Select all the keyframes, and press F9. Turn off the driver and, close the rules. Press the space to make a RAM preview. Go to enter the footage, go to the project panel, to the composition, and double click on the background. And enter the photo. Go to the mask, press T, and lower it a little. Then open the composition from video 1, and enter the video that we want, by pressing shift we change the size. We will do the same in the second video. Press the space to make a RAM preview. We can increase the duration of the video. We make a new composition, we give a name. And time 10 seconds. Dimensions again full HD. We enter the main composition, we go exactly to the point where the animation ends. Right click, time, and enable time remaping, and set a keyframe. Now enlarge it and do it for 10 seconds, and the last keyframe we go to 10 seconds. The middle keyframe to 5 seconds. And we are ready. Press the space to make a RAM preview. Go and save, file, and save as, and select a folder, and project name. Now it remains to export it, go Composition, and add Adobe Media Encoder. Go to Format, and select H.264, and High Bitrate, turn off the sound. Select Use Maximum Render Quality. And give it a name. and click OK, and play. Thank you very much for watching me, if you liked the video subscribe to my channel. Bye.